Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Salvatore Bruno. Join me in discovering the mindset into fitness, nutrition and wellness, where I'll be answering your questions, interviewing the top names and leaders in the game, and, of course, I'll be getting their stories on how they get motivated to become the best. You'll find it right here on Bruno Talks. Hello, and yes, we are back for a new year, a new decade. It's quite amazing that I'm telling people now that it's uh, it's 2020, we've left 2019 behind, and here we stand in discussing, talking about what we're going to be doing for the new year ahead. Officially, today is the first Monday of the new year. Now, that sounds quite mad because January did start last week, but it's because everyone's gone back to their normal routine of work. You know, some people just basically, they don't start anything because until everyone goes back to work or until they have that alarm clock that says they must get up, they must do something, they don't bother to do anything. So the subject that I've been talking about with most people over the weekend is people clearing out their cupboards, eating all their chocolates and their Christmas cakes and what, you know, all sorts of different bits and pieces that have to be eaten because people won't chuck food away, of course. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, I'm one of those people too. You know, I won't waste food, so I've done exactly the same. I've had an amazing Christmas and New Year. I've eaten absolutely tons worth of food. And yesterday was officially the last day before me and my partner start to go into our prep and start aiming towards our goals. So what happened? We started, we got up this morning, we went to the gym, and today officially is our very first day of the new year. Now, you can all have certain goals Um, certain things to aim for throughout the year now I've spoken to a couple of people already and they've got nothing they've got nothing they 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 haven't anything really to aim for my question was to that was well if you've got nothing to aim for then what are you doing because for me I always need something to aim for it may be something little it may be something big I actually have quite a lot on a list of things to do throughout the year. Some are quite short-term goals, some are quite long-term goals. But for me, I know what I'm going to be doing or what I'm aiming for. It gives me that little bit of a motivation when I get up in the morning. If you don't really know what you're going to be doing or what you want to aim for, then it's really quite hard to find the motivation to keep it up. You'd be all right for a couple of weeks, maybe three, four weeks. You may even do a couple of months, but after that, you'll find the drive to continue will slowly fade away because there is nothing to aim for. So basically, this podcast I wanted to talk about was to talk about how to essentially begin the start of the year, even though the year has already started. But the reason I'm doing this one and this podcast now is because it's a perfect time to now write down your goals, have a plan of action for what you're going to aim for for the rest of the year. Now's the time. Not a week ago when your head was still in the Christmas relaxation mode or next week or two weeks from now. Now is a perfect time when you're now back into routine. You will know now when you're in routine what time you have what you can and can't do. You know, there's no point setting goals that you know that you're not going to be able to stick to. So having a routine just makes it a lot easier to know that you can do half an hour here, or I can do one hour here, or I can do this, or I can do that. So simple thing is all you're going to need to do for this is get yourself a pen and a paper. Post-it note would be great, okay? And you're going to write three main goals for this year. First goal is what you want to achieve short term. Something you want to see results or something you want to achieve maybe by the end of January, but at the very, very latest, maybe mid-March. And then your second one would be like a mid-goal. 
something that you know that once you get rid of your short-term goal and you smashed it, you've then got another one already in place, raring to go. Use your second one as a follow-up to your first one. Your third long-term goal can be completely different, but I've always found that if you have kind of one that follows the other, it means that you don't have to then suddenly just change all your plans. You know, you know that you're con- you can continue. You might have to move a little thing, a few things around, change your workouts or whatever the goal or the you know the goal may be. But if it flows into one to the other, it makes it a lot easier to continue it. Okay, look at it for three, four months away, and then do another long-term goal. This can be six months or even more. It could be a, a it could be something that you're aiming for to the end of the year. Okay? Write these things down. Have a really good think. Give yourself a deadline for when you want these these goals written down this piece of paper. If you're listening to this today, then give yourself until later on tomorrow. Give yourself a couple of days to have a really good think. Once you've written them down and you know exactly what you're going to aim for, put this piece of paper or this post-it note and stick it where you can see it. And I'm talking about stick it where you can see it on a daily basis. The mirror that you always use in the morning or the wardrobe door where your clothes are always in. Even on the dashboard of your car. Places that you know that when you look at these places, this post-it note is going to be in your vision. It means that the moment you wake up and go to the mirror or go to your wardrobe door or get in your car in the mornings, you are going to see your free goals. You are going to see the reason why you got up in the morning. You have got, you can see the reasons of what you are working out for while you're making those steps forward into your journey. Use this post-it note as your motivation to get the job done. I've, I've done this many times with my clients where I've actually physically told them and said to them, right, I want you to go and get yourself an outfit. Now, it's not an excuse to spend money. It's an excuse to have an outfit that does not fit. When you are looking at weight loss or something like this, buying yourself an outfit that's two sizes smaller is a great motivation for you to continue on your diet, for continue working out. This dress could be hanging on your wardrobe door and you will see this dress that you can't fit into. You can't fit into now. But if you continue and continue working hard, you will fit into. It's little bits of motivation that you surround yourself with so you give yourself the drive. You don't need someone else to push you. Self-motivate yourself. Start it today. Get your piece of paper, get your pen, Write down your goals and bit by bit, start walking towards them. Start getting that plan in place so 2020 won't be a waste. You won't look back and think, I wish I started in January. I want you to look back and go, I'm so glad I started in January because look how far I've come. I've smashed this, I've done this, and I've achieved so much. I'm going to go for it in 2020. I'm no holds barred going for it in 2020. But I don't want it to be my year. I want it to be our year. So let's do it. Let's do it together. Put those goals in place and let's smash it. That's all I wanted to do today is just get this message across to you. You know where I am. If you want to help on how to get these goals in place, send me a message. I'll be happy to help. But until next time, Thank you so much, and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care. Goodbye.